Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In the early morning hours on a day earlier this week, a small town in northwest Syria was atrociously attacked with chemical bombs. As a result, over 75 civilians died and over 20 children gasped for air, writhed in pain, and foamed at the mouth. They suffered pupils, muscle spasms, and involuntary defecation. Based on the state of this evidence, it appears that the Syri it was the Syrian President Bashar al-Assad who committed this heinous act against his people once again. The last time Assad committed such an act in 2013, he agreed to eliminate his chemical weapons. However, it appears he lied and he continues his sick aggression against his own people and our humanity. From the first use of chemical weapons in World War I to the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s and now in Syria, chemical weapons epitomize the absolute horror of modern-day warfare. That is, of course, why they are outlawed and why their use is a war crime. That is also why anybody who uses them must be treated and penalized like a war criminal. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.